had choices. I was trying to decide whether I wanted to go to Japan, Korea, or Taiwan. I went to a bookstore in the city and I pulled out the travel guides for Korea, uh, Japan, and Taiwan. And I was flicking through them and I was just looking for something that um, would sway me in a direction. I found out that Korea and Japan were very conservative nations, whereas Taiwan was actually a pleasant surprise. Taipei was um, the first Chinese-speaking city in the world to have a gay pride, which is really cool. The second thing um, was I found out that in Japan and Korea, if I wanted to teach kindergarten or if I wanted to teach at all, you had to wear a shirt and a tie. So that definitely was a big plus for Taiwan. Focused on Taiwan and I got an interview with Hess. My um, interviewer, Robbie, gave me some advice, which was is probably the best advice that I've been given um, about living in Taiwan. And it's ensured that I've been really successful. And that advice was to, um, to find out what the word guanxi meant. Guanxi basically is about relationships. It's if you give something, you will get something back. It's a very simplistic way of putting it. So um, I took this advice to heart and what it meant was basically I wanted to say yes to everything. I wanted to, when I came to Taiwan that anything, any opportunities that came to me or suggestions about trying something, I would say yes. So with that in mind, I went to Taiwan and it really worked for me. I got here, I was working really hard. Um, I just said yes to everything. If someone asked me if I wanted to go somewhere on a weekend, I would do it. If someone said, oh, would you, would you want to go and see something, I would do it. At same at work, if someone said, hey, can you teach this class, I would do it. And after six months, I was offered a head in tea role, which is really fantastic. Six months later, I moved into the city, into Taipei, and um, that branch offered me a uh, NST of two branches. And then six months after that, another branch. And then six months after that, area manager. And just recently, in April, I've, uh, I said the biggest yes I can. I said I do.